let me tell you sincerely speaking any man you see advancing today check very well there are some things they cannot actually be too sure of how it happened it was god that helped because there has to be the finger of god he said this one eh, happened by the hand of god this one happened by the finger of god there are things that only god does you will know it's only god that did it suddenly you were at a red sea and yet you know you are going to die that day and there was no deliverance anywhere you don't even have an army and the lord said there is just something with you just do like this you know it was not this thing that parted the rest now you know you know it was just the lord that had breathed upon the waters so that it will not look too spiritual he said and use your hand and just hit it like this sometimes it will surprise you you may be looking for two million error and the lord will say just go and stand at this side and just pray praying there doesn't mean two million will fall on the from the sky it's a lie but as you are done doing it god is now engaging the thing and sudden things happen sometimes you can be fasting and doing many things and god will just give you a little instruction as you do highest thing is for him to get involved as you get involved everything stops the help of god is watching the lives of men radically but sometimes if god has helped you before if he must continue to help you you must remain obedient to him because many of us do not understand the place of obedience in our working with god if you want God to hearken unto you, you must be men and women that are obedient to God, not just men that obey men. Many of us obey men. My father and the Lord said this, my mother and the Lord said this, my pastor said this, my this one said, When did God tell you something and you do that I did not tell you? A lot of people come here and tell me, Apostle, I want to do this, I want to hear your opinion. I say, Have you had the opinion of God? It is true, I can be out my kindness and benevolence and say, Continue. But well, maybe God is not interested in that. When you want to see the finger and the help of God in your life, you must learn to be obedient. Let your ears hear the sound of the Spirit. Because there are things that God will tell you to do that may not be convenient to you. And me, myself, I may not be able to understand. There are things in this life that you are going to do not because you are powerful, not because you are prayerful, not because you are anointed, but just because God helped you marvelously well. I'm telling you, Without the help of God, you will be so anointed and prayerful and yet you will walk in the flesh as the way Paul did. Because Paul was still prayerful and he was still a preacher, yet he was walking in the flesh. He needed the help of God. Isaiah 6, 1. The Bible speaking says, In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up and his train filled the temple in the year that king Uzziah died the question there is who is king Uzziah because Isaiah life began to change in the day a man died Isaiah had been prophesying from chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to even 6 he was a prophet if you read all he was prophesying he was speaking so much but when the Lord appeared he realized him to need help from God although he was anointed a prophet he now realized that woe oh, unto me I am a man of unclean leaves that him too is a liar and I dwell among people cast this <laughs> but yet he was their prophet so he, he can, you can be so anointed as a minister it is true it's okay you became anointed by yourself you apply some protocol there are things flesh and blood can do but the bible says flesh and blood have not revealed this that means there are things that flesh and blood can reveal and it will work so well but there are times you have to step back from your own understanding and allow god to do it